You got your engineering bachelor's degree and you want to build your career. Should you get the FE or master's? Well, that's what we're gonna cover today. Oh yeah, everybody now. If you want to work in the engineering industry, excel in your career faster and earn more, you should actually consider getting your FE and your PE instead of master's. And here are three reasons why. Reason number one, better chances to get a job. When you pass your FE exam and you get your EIT license, you have higher chances of getting a job than when you have just master's. A lot of companies, when they're hiring, they would actually look into candidates who have their EIT license. Why? Because the EIT applicants would most likely get their PE license, which is something that a lot of companies are looking for. Now, when an employee has their PE license, it's actually beneficial to the employer and the employee. Also, in the engineering industry, especially civil, it is more important to get your PE license than master's. When you have your PE license, it shows that you have a good grasp of engineering concepts and that you have the experience in the field. After talking to hundreds of students, the number one problem that they face on their FE journey is bad study resources. You're wasting time studying countless hours just to feel stuck, overwhelmed, and confused. That stops here. Sign up for my live webinar this Friday and begin your path to passing your FE exam this summer. Reason number two. Masters costs money. The second reason why you shouldn't get your masters is because it costs a lot of money and there's barely any return on investment. If you get your masters, you wouldn't necessarily get a raise. However, if you invest your time and money on getting the FE and the PE, there's a bigger return on investment. You will earn more and you will recession proof your job, which brings us to the third reason. Reason number three, recession-proof your career. Here's the thing. Everyone is talking about recession right now, and I don't know if it's going to happen or not. I hope it doesn't. But if it does, you want to make sure that you are prepared for it. Make sure that you pass your FE exam and get your EIT license. You can even get your PE. There are some states who would allow students to take the PE exam even before they complete the four-year experience. And once you complete the requirements for the experience, then you submit it to the NCS and then you get your PE license. Having your EIT and your PE license would actually help you keep your job during recession or even find another job than having your master's degree. What I would recommend is that you try to pass your FE exam this year. And believe it or not, there's still time. Just make sure that you have the right study plan, schedule, and study material that will help you pass faster. We had so many students who passed the FE exam and their PE in their just six months. If you want to know how they did it, join me at the live webinar this Friday and find out how. Also, don't forget to check out our online courses where we cover the exact material that you need to pass your FE exam. All our courses are on sale right now and you don't want to miss it. Get the full package, learn everything that you need and save up to $350, study smart and pass your FE exam this summer. Also, if you want to know how to prepare for your FE exam, make sure to check out this video here. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah. Everybody now.